Yeah, we only got here for our people, man. So if you a heathen or whatever, you come up here, it depends on how we feel, man. We might, we might talk to you, you know, let you know that you're a heathen, edify you on that. Then we might curse you out. We might not even deal with y'all together. You know, like you're like that. You might be camel here. Who was that right now? Weeks ago, man. I say like, uh, what about weeks ago? Are you standing right here? And that's how he was recording. And I was like, yo, are you recording us? He was like, oh, no, no, no. Like, come on, man. You got your phone out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> sitting there, like, playing with, like, you were sitting there recording, so I see what I'm saying. So as soon as I called him, he was like, oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, uh, no, I was just trying to hear what you were saying. So why the hell, why'd you just say that? That's being a damn devil. White, for a uh, white uh, divine, says, says, purify, we, to, to become white, be purified. So, so purify, to be pure, man. All right? So what you do with, with, with uh, something that, that you want to uh, get rid of the impurities, you burn it, you know? Like if you got a, uh, uh, yeah, kind of say if you have a, like a splinter in your, in your finger or something. And you want to take that splinter out, but you get a needle. What you do to get all the impurities off that needle, you'll burn it. You know? So that's trying it in the fire. Then you'll stick it into your hand because you know it'll be clean. It's pure. All right? That's the same thing that the Lord's going to have to do to, uh, to his people. So the men of the elect are going to be tired of the fire, you know? Because you're going to catch a hell now, but you're going to catch some hell, you know? Cause the Lord wants to know, he, you can't be no weak dude and rule the kingdom, all right? You gotta be, a, a, you gotta say what you mean, mean what you say, all right? They don't want no soft dude, that's why it says the feminine man, he's just, they're, they're not gonna be ruling. But to bring, to bring our people back into their right mind, what they have to do, they have to be cut off right here, they have to be burnt to make them pure again, all right? And that's the only way that, that our people are going to be made pure. Because right now, they got all these impurities of America on them, all these different philosophies, you know? Our women walk around with, with, with shirts so damn small, you can see they butt cheeks, man. And let them, don't let them lean over like that, you can see they coochie. They're probably the damn hairs, you know? Like there was a woman at my job, like I'm looking at her like, are you serious, man? Cheek hanging straight out of her, out of her damn uh, shirt. You know, and if you would have said something to her, she'd have looked at you like you was crazy. Like, who you talking to, nigga? You know how the nigga want to get, man. First of all, I'm talking to you because you got your ass cheeks hanging out, and I'm a man. Because they, they know Esau, you know, Esau was sucking. They'd be like, oh, you can't, you can't talk to those women like that. They're allowed to test them where they want. Don't touch them. Why? Because Esau looking at another dude. And, and, yo, and, they, and they love to see our women just like hers, man. And, and you know what? Our women, they're, they're one of their, one of their um, major idols is Mer Merlin Monroe, man. The fucking biggest whore on the face of the planet. Merlin Monroe. Like, I, I see our women with the shirts on with Merlin Monroe in there. So, we're, so who are you emulating? You're emulating a whore. That's what you want to be, man. You patting yourself after a whore, man. All right, when the scriptures tell you, shall not be no whore in, 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 in America. I'm pretty sure they call it over the radio. So uh, for the word try, it's uh, to smell, refine, and test. That's right. So you have to be tested. Right? Mm -hmm. true. That's right. That's 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 it right there. Tested and proven to be true, man. All right. So you're gonna get a lot of tests, man. You know. And what's the major test that all about you about this? Because it might be a day, man. You know, you starve. You starve. Can't eat. You might not have ate in a whole day, you know? And here comes Esau, you know what, just take this chip, man. I got you, buddy. And they, they might have a, 
a full course meal made for you, man. You know? A full course meal be like, yo, you take this chip. And it might look great, man. You know, like like in the cartoon, when they get so hungry, they start looking at people and they, they look like uh, turkeys and chicken. Yeah, stay there, cut. <laughs> you get that hungry. And they put a then they put a meal in front of you and be like, yeah, just take this chip, buddy, and you can eat. You know, so that that's the test, man. And if you don't have to be tested not to take that test, to be proved to be proved uh so after to be proven pure, why are you gonna trust in your Ba Shin Yahweh And know that he's gonna take care of you, why? Because his men are gonna follow his words. And whatever his words, his words come out the Bible. Man. And that's why, like, you have um what's that? It says uh, the Lord takes he takes care of the uh the animals or the bird. How much more are you? No? So if your Howard Bosch and now shot takes care of a bird, what makes what makes you think that he's not gonna take care of you? And the bird don't have a care in the world. The Lord already knows what you need. He knows your want and he knows your need. Alright? And if you were if you one of his men, you know. He's going to take care of you. Like the brother sent me a text to speak. Talking about if your how will be for you, who could be against you? All right? And that, that was a bad scripture right there. I'm like, hey, you know what? That, that, that gave me the encouragement I needed right then and there. You know? And if your how about she now shall be for you, who can be against you? That's why they, he created everything. He, he even created their enemies. So he know what they think and he know their moves and all that. Alright? That's why you're supposed to trust him. It says, but the wicked shall be wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Yeah, so the wicked are going to continue to be wicked. Alright? But even though, know, like Matt Fowler was reading the scripture earlier in uh, uh, Second Ezra, the 16th chapter, I believe it was uh, roughly around a... Uh, 27 verse, verse, if I'm not mistaken, and it said, and it was basically saying that same thing, talking about uh, for scourges, like the people still going to be wicked, man. Like you, you got the RFID microchip right here in America, and we let you know that it's the mark of the beast, all right. But people are still going to be wicked. What they going to do? Still just like whores? Still want to go party at the, in the club to the damn AM? You know? Still continue to be dykes? They still want to continue to be homosexuals, all right? They still want to continue to uh, engage in any act that Babylon has to offer. Knowing knowing that we're living in the end times, man. Still chasing after different gods, man. You know, still committing adultery, sleeping with other men's wives. And Jake is big on that, man. I think some niggas like to sleep with other men's wives. They, they don't want to talk to a woman unless she's married, man. I heard a nigga tell me that, man. He's like, yo, he's like, if I deal with a married woman, at least at the end of the night, I can send her back home to her husband. I'm like, yo, you wicked nigga, man. Good, good. You know? So you got, you got, uh, uh, like, like, dude, dudes that say stuff like that, man. That's, that's why that this place has to be destroyed. And read, oh, uh, read that last part one more time over the show. This is the wicked. Talk to you, the wicked. The the it says, many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall be wickedly. None of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. That's right. So when 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 uh these girls are coming, they're kicking your door. When they start declaring martial law, now you got you got race wars really popping off right now here in America. Like I was watching on on, on Russia Today, and it was a uh, news reporter. I think he might have been like a a, a a politician or something, you know? Look at this nigga riding around his enemy, man. But yeah, so you are, uh, he was a politician, and he was like, yeah, we, we, yo, we entering into new race wars. And I'm like, wow. I'm like, yeah, I already know the scripture is true, but when you see it, and you like, damn, man, that's what's up. Like, we, we ain't going out there in vain. We know we not coming out here in vain anyway, but like to see the prophecies just come come like that and, and, and like you living it you like damn that that's beautiful man that's a beautiful thing 
So everything we come out here and tell you, we not sitting here lying, man. And you got people waking up. And then people walk past, they be hit, ear hustling. You know, so they hear what we're saying. So they, they can't say in that day that they ain't know, man. All right? And that day they can't be like, yo, Lord, you know what? I ain't know. I thought those dudes were telling me lies, man. I'm gonna be showing you, showing you uh, uh, graphics. You know, breaking it down so, so clear, plainly that a two year old can understand. We understand why these race wars are happening, man. We understand who our enemy is. You know? So when that day when he saw if they, they turn on you niggas, turn around and punch you in your damn face, or whatever, you like, you have a lot of niggas like, damn, why you do that? Because that man, his spirit never, never, uh, uh, like linked with your spirit. You know? You might have grown up with little Timothy. You know, like, no, Timothy's cool, man. I know his whole family. They used to feed me and everything. <laughs> Nigga, they hate you, man. And you gonna see just how cool the so called white man is when, 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 when this all, when his hell breaks through and the time of Jacob's trouble. You gonna see just how much of a friend he is to me. And matter of fact, yo, this, this is how, how how crazy it is, man. You had I, I remember watching something online, man. And uh it was a, a Edomite woman. She was married to a Jake. Uh, her husband was in the military, so I think he he went off to to to, to duty or something like that, right? So um when he went off to, to, to his duty. She was talking to another man on the computer who was an Edomite, talking about how much she hated niggas. But you married to one. So that's her spirit manifesting. Man. And that's what I call sleeping with the damn enemy. Man. You know? She might wake up one night, man, and slip your damn throat. You never know. And you niggas that go marry these goddamn Edomites and so called white women. You out you your goddamn mind, man. But, you know, Esau did a hell of a job by jacking you niggas up, man. I'll give him that. He, he as being a devil that he is, you know, the Lord, the Lord allowed that. He did a damn good job of being a devil. And he continues to do a good job of being a devil. Because you niggas are still blind, man. It's uh, 2 Ezra chapter 9, verse 20. It says, So I considered the world, and behold, there was peril because of the devices that would come into it. That's right. What are the devices? Man? The devices they're talking about are the thermal nuclear missiles. And also, you have. Says, so I considered the world. It says, so I can. So I can um, that was a, but that that was an evil act too. You know, you got the thermal nuclear missiles, right? But the Lord put the spirit on the so-called white man and all the other heathen nations that have thermal nuclear missiles to do that. Right. Right. So it's uh, Second Ezra chapter nine verse twenty. It says, "So I considered the world, and behold." There was peril because of the devices that would come into the world. It. Perils are troubles, man. All right, trouble in time, man. And you got a lot of devices that came into the come to the earth, man. All right, that's you got like the brother was saying. Here. You also have like guns. You know, they got their tanks. All, all, all destructive devices. Man. Which, no matter of fact, they, they even got drones, man. They got drones that, that can fire missiles, you know? They got the, uh, what's it called, the, the, the bomber jets. 
that they drop bombs on, 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 on uh, other countries, man. So they got all kinds of different devices, but their main device is going to jack everything up. Is is the thermonuclear missile? You know? He said he considered the world. You know what I'm about, sir? He said uh, Second Ezra is nine and twenty. So I considered the world. Behold, there was peril because of the devices that would come in into it. Sorry. Now look at the word uh, devices. It's in a, a Merriam-Webster dictionary. Uh, one one in definition says. An object, machine, or piece of equipment that has been made for some special purpose. That's right. A weapon that explodes. That's right. Something that is done in order to achieve a particular effect. So it says uh, something devised or contrived as a plan, procedure, or technique. That's right. So what, what do they have? They plan, procedure, technique? They want to destroy America, man. Which is going to happen, man. All right? What was that one part? It says for a certain purpose. Yeah, I says has been made for some special purpose. Now, what's that special purpose? To destroy this place, man. And other places that's around around the earth is going to get it too, man. All right, y'all not on that side. But so them devices is, is, is set to do one thing: to cause destruction. Man. All right, and that's going to be the the. the, the, the that's going to be the destruction right here in Babylon, man. Yeah, they, they go. Yo, that's the spirit. They're going another device right there, man. <laughs> he can't even rot it, man. Old ass. <laughs> that's like a dirt bike to that dude, man. You know? But yeah, he said he considered the world the device that came into it. The pearls, the pearls are some, some jacked up times, man. Which we're coming into. And what's those, like I said, the devices, thermal nuclear missile. Alright? That's going to completely uh, desolate America. It's Proverbs 21. 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers, as the river of water, he turneth it wheresoever he will. That's right. So the king's heart is in the hand of your Iowa boss and your man. So, like, okay, you could you could use Donald Trump for instance, because he he right now he would be considered a king. All right, why? Because he has that he has that position. All right, like you have uh, what's that king King uh, Charles or whatever his name is. That's over there. So he's a king over there. All right, but to read that one time. The king's heart. It's in the hand of the Lord. That's right. So the king's heart, when it's talking about his heart, it's talking about his mind, right? It's in the hand of the Lord. So he turned it however way he wants it. But so so the Lord, he the Lord puts the ideas in these men's head. Why do you think Donald Trump said what he said? Like he said all about uh, they're gonna be met with fire and fury. Like no man has ever saw. The Lord hopped in it and put the words in that man's mouth. You know? The same way the Lord puts in, in their head the thing that they're going to dig up. Well, they, they already did it. They're going to dig into hell, you know, and then they got their underground bunkers and all that, man. So they're doing those things now, but, but they think that they're doing it on their own free will. You see that? This right here lets you know there's no, no free will, man. All right? Like the Lord controls everything, man. Both sides. All right? So it's no getting around that, man. So if he's controlling the stars, guess what? He knows the end results of it. As the rivers of water, he turn if it were so ever, he will. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes. Right. But the Lord pondereth his heart. The true justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord and sacrifice. That's right. So the hey, the do justice, man, and judgment. So what's the judgment of America? Complete destruction, man. No? Complete destruction. And that's what's coming this way. That's going to be justice. That's going to be our, our um amendment for the trouble that we've been going through. Alright? Because the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, he 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 he's not, it says he's Angry with the wicked every day, man. 
And the Lord basically, he's setting up, not basically, he is setting up these other nations for failure. And these heathens. Because they, they think, like what the book of scripture said, that they are, they thought, yeah, kind of, yeah, food, you know they think that, that this, that this place is going to continue on forever and ever and ever, you know, like, okay, problem is in, like, like, um, at my job now, now, they're, they're individually owned, all right, so what Esau do, Esau basically is all for his people, man, for his family, you know, and basically for his kind, but you know, the guy owns the store. What he do? I think he got three children. I mean, he might have got three boys and a, and a girl. So he got four children. So he opened up different stores, you know, and gave them and gave them to them. So he passed it down to them. And they thinking when they get older, you know, and retire or or maybe even die, they're going to pass it down to their children. And they think it's going to continue, the cycle's going to continue like that. Even with these um, uh, Fortune 500 companies, man, they think that they're just going to pass it on to, 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 their, to their seed, and their seed's going to pass to that seed, and it's going to just continue like this forever and ever without, a, without an end in sight. The only way that's going to happen, that's going to happen for us. But we're in the kingdom, all right? Because uh, we're, we're a world without him. Uh, Psalms 49 and 11 it says the inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever right. and their dwelling place to all generations they call their lands after their own name. Yeah, that's right. Bro. They call their lands after their own name. Right? So what they do, what they do in America, they call it Scipio, uh, uh, America over Aspusis, call this land, this land after his name. You know? They even named the streets after they, they uh, after them, you know. I wish you got uh, 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 Washington D.C. That's named after George Washington, right? you know. But even even no, it's, uh, and our, our people they wanted to be a part of that bull crap, you know. But but they had to get taken out of here. Like you got MLK Boulevard, you know. And it seems like every Martin Luther King Boulevard or whatever is like the most jacked up place in the city. Major drug selling, a lot of a lot of killings. You know, I know the, the, the crime rate is just ridiculous. You know? That's it. That's in the missile city. You're gonna fill the earth with it. Yeah, man. <laughs> but yeah, you know, they think that, you know, that they're gonna um just, just keep passing things down. And it's gonna be for all generations. Like they really, and that's like, if I stop an Edomite ass and they think America's gonna last, keep lasting, or America's gonna last forever, they're gonna be like, yeah. They're gonna be like, yeah, it's the greatest place on the face of the earth. What do you mean? <laughs> then you give them scriptures, they walk away crying. And yo, they're, they're, and guess what? They still not gonna believe it, man. They still not gonna believe it. They're gonna be like, yo, you know what, man? Nigga, you're lying. What do you know? You're a nigga. You know? That's it. That's how, that's how you know you really got them, man. They get emotional. They want to fight, man. You know? So, Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Yeah. And this, this is one of my favorite scriptures, man. You know? Because right now, Everybody don't believe the things that we say. You know? They don't believe that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. And even if they do believe it, so, so you're still going to have niggas take it. Even like, even with other Israelite camps, man. You know? They, 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 they don't believe that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. Does that mean it's not the mark of the beast? No, it don't. That just means that man is an asshole. And furthermore, the Lord is blinded. And it's like the blind leading the blind. So guess what? You do um you teaching your men that that is not the RFID microchip. Like I, I was listening to Apostle Tahar not too long ago, and he said that uh, 
it was a guy in, in uh, ISUBK, right? And um, he see he, he had confronted General Yohanna about the RFID microchip. And, and basically he said, General Yohanna, he did a video, but he said he couldn't find it, he was trying to find it. But basically he said, General Yohanna was like, oh, that he said the RFID microchip is not the mark of the beast. This is out of there, he's like, and he said, and he was asked what she could take it. He was like, yo, you're going to take it. I'm going to take it because you got to feed your family. <laughs> so that's not a man of the Lord, man. You know? And, and, like, and, and just like people walking up and down here, if you ask if you ask these people now, they, they get a little shaky and scared. But matter of fact, yo, in, in, uh, in, in Second Nuggets, it talks about that. And I brought that out here. Uh, Second Nuggets is um, 16. But it talks about uh, the power standing there. Cause you got, you got like the, like these guys right here. What are you, Bob Tiles, These guys right here on this sign right now, they scared to death. Right? All right, because why they know that their time is coming soon. Sure. But the five, like you ask the average person right here, like yo, you think America's going to be destroyed with thermonuclear fire? They gonna be like, oh hell no. You know, cause we have, we have missiles to, to shoot back at them, defense missiles. <laughs> Yo, my man, obviously, you, you, I don't know where you've been at the past t 20 years, you can say. Like, America been sold you out when they were, when they were, when they had a, um, it was a race of, uh, 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 um, a missile, an uh, arms race, so to speak. There was an arms race where they was trying to build the most uh, thermonuclear missiles between America and Russia. So Russia was kicking America's ass, man, and building these missiles. They was like, yo, America told them, like, listen, man. Basically, they 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 threw in the uh, they they waved the white flag, man. It was like, yo, if y'all stop making these missiles, we ain't gonna make it defensible. And that was supposed to be their agreement. But lo and behold, guess what? You think Russia honored them? No, man, they still got food. But they sit here and tell you, I think they just did a um a, a, a missile test where they shot a missile off. They shot a missile off, and then they, it was like a, a um, like a defense missile. They shot and knocked that missile down. So they show the public that, and the people think that it's cool, man. You know. So these people are they walking around in fear right now? No, they're not. Why? Because they at ease. They think everything is cool. Everything's going to be alright. What's that Bob Marley song? Everything's gonna be. Right. That's what these niggas think, man. And yo, but you know, you might you have some some people when they they they, they, they might watch the news and now they keep hearing about these wars. So now they, it might spark their interest. But the Lord has to ultimately open their mind, you know, for for um the Lord has to open their mind for, for them to fully understand what's going on. You know? Because you've been hearing about wars since like I was a child, man. Right? Oh, we went to this war, we went to that war, we went to this war. So you thinking like, oh yeah, you know what? It's just another war. They they're gonna probably sign a treaty or whatever. No, man. This is the war to end all wars, man. Before we get back to our kingdom, man. you know. I know it's in um. Second Ezra chapter 16 verse 18. It says the beginning of sorrows and great mourning. That's right. The beginning of famine and great death. That's right. So that what you're starting to see now, the beginning of these things. The beginning of famine and great death. Like you got places in Venezuela. Them people, they down there is starving. You can't even go into a market down there and buy any food. Why? Because the shelves are completely empty. Those people that ran in there and, and, and hoarded everything they could. And furthermore, they, they, they held back um, resources from the people. Which the same things that's coming right here to this country, bro. Donald Trump and I heard something about, you know, Donald Trump put some type of sanctions on uh, Venezuela so that the people couldn't, I guess people in America, they couldn't, uh, you know, give money to the, the government or whatever, you know, so I guess he's trying to beat the situation by first time. So that, he's a goddamn devil right there in the soul, man. Hey, yo, them people in that country, they jinxed. So that's the time of Jacob's trouble. They already in the time of Jacob's trouble. Heavy. 
No, it was. I, I remember reading. I believe that the women they they couldn't even get um their their what they call them, sanitary napkins and all that. So I guess they bleeding all over the damn place. And these women, y'all, that's coming right here in this country. But these women are some proud ass whores. They real proud. I know. I, the other day I was at work. Matter of fact, Thursday I'm at work at the bar. And yo, I, I don't like to fucking break the DJ whole poof after he said this bullshit. So he's like, yeah, for all the single ladies in here, if you don't need a man for shit, throw your hand. I'm like, this motherfucker. I'm looking at this dude like, don't need a man for shit. You fucking serious, man? And now, yo, that's a weak minded dude, man. You know? And there, he, he a Keith Sweat ass nigga. Begging for coochie and shit. Yeah, like Drake. 